What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Welcome to part three of my Grand Challenge run with Greninja. By now, you probably know the team, but in case this is your first one or you want to get caught back up, Greninja Water Shurikens is our Chaladon for Stamina Body Press. Greninja Water Shurikens is Annihilate for Rage Fist. Greninja also has Haze and Icy Wind and Taunt just for support moves. And we've got Screens Grim, Healing Sinistra, and Specs Pelipper. Anyways, let's get on to the battles. Rated 1650. Here we go. Talonflame, Electabuzz, Ursa Luna, Blood Moon. Armor Rouge with no Indeedy, Basque Legion, and Primarina. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It's not U turn into Expanding Force. It could be a weakness policy somewhere. We got Flip Turn, we got U turn. Uh, we do have Redirection and Electabuzz to worry about. Annihilate is worried about Fairy Move, Ghost Move, Psychic Move. If I go for Terra Water, I'm mostly safe. Archaludon has to worry about Electabuzz and Blood Moon making it pretty useless. I think I like Ape and I like Screens and I like Healing. Oh boy, this is a this is a tough one. All the special attackers, though, I think Grimmsnarl is pretty good. And pivoting around, um, do I want Greninja for Water Shuriken doing pretty decent damage? Honestly, Pelipper is okay. Electabuzz is annoying, but it does okay into everything else. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Pelipper last. I don't know. If Archaludon being on here would have been better, I don't know if I should just ignore screens. I, like, I'm really concerned about what they've got going on. That's a cool card. So I just want to put up screens and be like, alright, whatever your plan is, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Electabuzz and Armory. Okay. I guess that's something. Uh, Terra Water bulk up light screen <laughs> that's that's what I'm going with I don't know is that armor is shiny the eyes look a little blue I don't know if that's normal or the shiny I didn't see the sparkles all right well I'm gonna burn my Terra right away is this the right call? I don't know. Uh, but seeing Electabuzz out front makes me confident that Greninja was not the way. Here's a light screen. And a taunt into Grim. Okay. Only gonna let me get one screen up. And then we're seeing the speed order. Electabuzz, then Annihilate, then Armor Rouge. Unless this is like Trick Room. <clears throat> It is Trick Room. Okay. I don't hate that. My Annihilate can protect while I Spirit Break. Maybe even Spirit Break the Armor Rouge. Trick Room? With Armor Rouge. With a Follow Me Electabuzz instead of Indeedy. This is something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Oh, I do like the texture on that Electabuzz. My opponent's cooking. For real. I'm wondering if it's a follow me or if they want to try Thunderbolting. It's possible their only electric move is Electro Web, which they definitely wouldn't want to have. But on a Trick Room team, I don't think that's how you would do it. Yeah, they just want to follow me. That's okay. Grimmsnarl is the slowest thing on the field. And just armor cannon. Okay, so they called my protect. It didn't do too much anyway. Let's go for a drain. Let's go for... Rage Fist. I kind of want to take out... Armor Rouge. I want to Rage Fist the Armor Rouge. 
And just spirit break Electabuzz again. Yeah, if they just follow me, that's fine. Both of them going at Electabuzz. Get another special attack drop there, just in case it was going to attack. It doesn't seem like it's going to. And you're gonna drop your defenses again? Maybe I bring in my Pelipper now. Maybe Electabuzz doesn't go down here. We saw that Electabuzz is actually faster. The trick Room's running low. Uh, I could bring in Pelipper for Grim. I do want to try to Rage Fist the Armor Rouge. Um, do I? Yeah, I want to try to Rage Fist Armor Rouge, and I will just bring in Pelipper. If my Taunt had worn off, I guess I could have Parting Shotted, but I don't think it's gone yet. Pelipper should take nothing from an Armor Cannon. And they're just gonna keep using Follow Me, okay. It's an Armor Cannon, fine. Your defenses are so low at this point. You're basically going to have to swap that out. Alright, well, game's not over. They're not hitting Annihilate. That's probably on purpose. They don't want to trigger it. Now they're vulnerable to Rage Fist on the armor slot. They're going to want to swap that, or protect it, or something. I am worried that Armor Rouge is actually strong enough to take out Pelipper, though. Eh, behind Light Screen? They're not Life Orb. It could be Meteor Beam. It could definitely be a Meteor Beam set. And here's Ursa Luna. But it's the last turn of Trick Room, so Annihilate can just protect. And I can bring Grimstarl back in. If Grimstarl goes down, that's fine. I can bring Pelipper right back in. But I think they... M they might consider using their last Trick Room turn to Blood Moon my 8. Which is why I just want to protect, to get out of Trick Room. See if I can read out a Protect or a Terra from them. Because they still haven't Terrastalized. So while I have super effective moves into both, they're not guaranteed. Anything could change. Yes, we got the Terra. Cool. I'd rather it be Ursaluna. It is Ursaluna. Is it normal? It is normal. Okay, that's fine. Um, Hyper Voice or Blood Moon? My question. I would love to see Blood Moon into 8. And honestly, I wouldn't mind if Blood Moon was into Grimstarl either. Blood Moon into Grimstar. Okay! Fine. Use up your Blood Moon turn. I'll take it. Psychic from the Armor Rouge. Okay. Dimensions are back to normal. We gotta bring in Pelipper. Now what does more? Specs, Pelipper, Weather Ball? Or Drain Punch? We've got 150 Stab from a boost that's like 225 off of that versus 150 Stab I'm going to Rage Fist Armor Rouge. Who is that, like, minus three? Yeah, that'll be plenty to do that. And Weather Ball Ursa Luna. I could use, like, Muddy Water plus Drain Punch into Ursa Luna, but then if I miss the Muddy Water on Armor Rouge and they get Trick Room back up, I would lose. Ursa Luna swaps. Okay, Weather Ball into whatever this is is probably fine. Cell Magnus. Basque Legion. Leather Ball into Basque Legion's fine. I didn't Drain Punch it. And Rage Fist, I would think, is enough. Yeah, and I have a defense boost. They got themselves... 
another last respect boost. Which is scary. How's this light screen doing? Two turns of light screen? I think I just rage fist Basque Legion. They, okay, they knock out Pelipper with last respects. I knock out Basque Legion. Blood Moon probably doesn't KO my Annihilate. And then I heal a little bit with Sinistra. I think, yeah, I think that's a good, I think that works. Am I locked in already? Yeah, I already used Pelipper. I think this works. Because I don't think a plus one defense annihilate goes down to 100 power last respects. Uh, they could protect Blood Moon. They could Phantom Force. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Critical hit on the bear. KO. Uh, with specs, I don't know if that was necessary. I don't know what their speed was. Or, like how much HP investment they had. Last turn of rain and last turn of light screen. If they KO annihilate, I could lose because I'm locked into a normal type weather ball. So I need to click Rage Fist and I need to swap into Sinistra just to get Pelipper off the field so that Pelipper can still do something. Like if, it, if they target the Pelipper slot and I lose Sinistra, I win because Rage Fist. If they Oko annihilate, which they don't even come close to at the plus one. So yeah, that would that would have they would have had last turn a 100 power last respects, which is slightly stronger than Phantom Force at that point. So it would have done slightly more than that. We would have been fine. Cool. GG. Um, I don't know if that crit mattered. Maybe I'll go do a calc uh, in between these games. Alright, we're fighting at 1640. I went back and calced. The Weather Ball should pick up Ursa Luna, even if it's max HP, like 94% of the time. So it was fine without the crit. Anyway, now we've got Garchomp, plus maybe Coaching Sneasler, and Golden Go, Electabuzz, Primarina, Corviknight. Oh, that looks like that formula, but like it's a little different. This team looks familiar. They have Redirection with Electabuzz, and I don't think Greninja is that great in general. Because even if I set up Body Press, our Chalodon... Eh, Body... Because they could have Haze, Primarina, Golden Go is still a threat to it. I do like Screens Annihilate in this one. I like Screens Annihilate a lot. Terrell Water, the only threat to the water is the Electabuzz. And then Electabuzz is also a threat to, like, Pelipper, but... Pelipper... Hits everything hard. Like, if I hit Hurricane or Weather Ball, something's taking a big chunk. No matter who it is. I have to be careful about Electabuzz... in general. But I think those are the four. They worked last time. Even though the team was entirely different, just had an Electabuzz. I still think this is the Greninja game. Uh... You know... There is one way Greninja might work here, and that's Greninja Pelipper lead with Icy Wind Speed Control, and then just launching big moves with Pelipper to remove something. Oh, and they don't have a trainer card. Mm. So let's think. Would Pelipper Greninja have been a good lead against Golden Go Electabuzz? Yes, it would. This is really bad. Actually, hang on, this is really bad. They're gonna use Follow Me. And they're gonna use Nasty Plot. No, this is a really bad, this is bad. I, I think I lost this one from Team Preview. I'm gonna swap in Pelipper and set Light Screen. Hopefully I'm wrong, uh, but if I'm wrong, I'm playing wrong. Or 
seeing a Terra. Some Electabuzz into Ghost. They were worried about Fake Out. They're really committing to Nasty Plot Golden Go is what that means. Do they would they want to click Thunderbolt here? Thunderbolt make it rain seems pretty safe from their end. I can be immune to the Thunderbolt, but then make it rain would be a problem. I'm gonna tear ground muddy water. <laughs> and try to Spirit Break Golden Go. That, that's the play I'm committing to is Terra Ground. If they just go for Make It Rain though, I take so much damage, even through Light Screen. And Terra Blast isn't gonna get me what I want since Electabuzz isn't big for that anymore. Okay, they did throw an Electric move. And we're faster than the Golden Go. Okay. That's really good. Accuracy drop? Accuracy drop. But Shadow Ball and Pelipper at plus two? Does KO. That's not great. Hmm. That could definitely have gone better. All right, uh, we're going to Annihilate now. So if I had, I could have gone for Weather Ball because you pulled the electric move. So what do you do? You just Shadow Ball, follow me. I do have an accuracy drop I can potentially take advantage of. I'm gonna go for bulk up. Try to spirit break the golden go. We're faster than the golden go with our annihilate. That's interesting. They just go for nasty plot though. That's bad. Chip on Electabuzz. I'm gonna go ahead and protect and bring in Sinistra. That way I can at least do at least one round of redirection. Oh, this, could, this could not be a worse matchup for this team. Oh boy. Show me Shadow Ball the Annihilate. Good. Um, would they protect Golden Go and taunt Sinistra with their Electabuzz? Maybe. I want to put Rage Fist into Electabuzz. I want to rage fist the gold. I need to rage fist the gold and go and rage powder. If they just protect taunt, they're just playing that. Okay, they do follow me. I wonder if this is a make it rain or just a shadow ball. Here's rage fist. Can I get a KO, please? No. And make it rain. So much damage.
Okay, uh, I still got a couple more turns of light screen. But I protect here and get Sinistra out in a Grim Snarl. Hoping maybe they drop their special attack again. Oh, and the Rage Fist didn't KO Electabuzz. This is. I knew from turn one that this lead was so good into me. <laughs> and they're playing it well, too. They're not really giving me any openings. But they do have the accuracy drop, though. Here's Make It Rain. Maybe Grimstarl dodges. Mr. Time. Only at plus one, maybe we can take a make it right now. I'm gonna Rage Fist, I'm gonna try to Rage Fist the Golden Go. Question is, do I bother clicking Rage Powder? I think I do, in case they Shadow Ball Annihilate. I don't even know if that's what they're gonna do. I could really use some healing right now. <laughs> but I can't drain punch anything. Alright, there's Rage Fist. Even if we get through, we finally got through Electabuzz. They still have two Pokemon in the back. This is about as bad as it could go. Make it rain, dodge. On Annihilate. Sinistra doesn't eat though. I needed Sinistra to eat. I do have my defense boost. Who do you have left? Sneasler? Sneasler's a non threat. Light screen's about to wear off. Do I want to protect? I want to protect because light screen isn't going to help me anyway. I want to protect just to see if Golden Go wants to protect. Golden Go doesn't seem to care about protecting. Okay. I can take Dire Claw. Whoever you have in the back is gonna be a pain, though. Unless it's something that can't touch me for some reason. Like, you did send this in for a reason. <laughs> now Golden Go protects. <laughs> oh, great. How much does Dire Claw do? Eh, not too much. It does sleep me, but I have Lumberry. Of course I get slept. Hmm. I don't think that call on Golden Go made a difference. I guess we'll find out what their last is at least. Maybe my win con here is heal off the Sneasler, hope Golden Go just misses. Maybe that's what I should have been doing this whole time. Brain punching. And a poison, that's gonna be game. A couple turns of poison takes me out, but I get to see your last. Oh boy. Well, that about that went about as well as I expected it to. I got an accuracy drop in dodge, which is nice. Uh, I did miss the muddy water on Electabuzz though. That thing would have gone down a lot earlier if I had connected that. And the last is Garchomp. Oh, that's definitely going to be good enough. Yep, I'm just gonna run this one, because they can just protect either, or just protect their Pokemon, and game's over. Poison takes me. GG, but go get a trainer card. 1609, that's good. That's pretty good. Not higher than me, but it's fine. My first Dondozo! Okay, Greninja has to come to this. In the back, for once. 
Their leads are going to be Indeedee, Sneasler, Dragonite, and King Gambit. No speed control other than Psychic Seed Sneasler, maybe? Annihilate. I like Grimmsnarl. It's decent into most of those, except King Gambit. It's not great into King Gambit. Uh, I like Sinistra. Screens also helps against Dozo. I guess it's Grim, Sinistra, Greninja. The question is, which sweeper? Archaladon or Annihilate? And I guess it's Annihilate. Archaladon does not like Sneasler. The problem is, Annihilate doesn't like Indeedee. But it's going to be Grim, Ape. It's going to be Greninja, Sinistra. I guess we got to figure it out. We do see Indeedee, we can Spirit Break it. We could Terra Annihilate, as long as we get rid of Sneasler. Well, I guess Terra Annihilate isn't bad in front of Sneasler, it's just then it can hit us. For neutral. Whereas if we have Reflect Up anyway, it's not that big a deal. Uh, Sneasler and Dee Dee, we'd probably go after Grim with like Fake Out or Dire Claw. So maybe I like Protect and put up Reflect and then put up Light Screen second. They don't have a Trainer card. It's like Dragonite or King Gambit in the front. That might not be too bad. Sneasler King Gambit, okay. Maybe a Fake Out, Take Out into Grim with like Dire Claw or, or it could be a fake out Iron Head into Grim. That's what it could be. Do I want to Terra my Annihilate? Do I want to Terra my Grimstarl to cover for that? If I Terra Grimstarl, I become weak to Indeedee. Very weak to Indeedee. I cannot do that. So I need to retreat to Sinistra. And go for a bulk up. There's nothing too threatening unless they have like a Terra Blast or like Acrobatic Sneasler. That would be really bad. Uh, it's just, oh, it's a double, it's a Dire Claw. They would have let me got a screen. They put Sinistra to sleep. Dire Claw only sleeps me these days. Well, Sinistra's not going to be that useful in this game, huh? And Iron Head into it. Well, it's still alive. They just let Annihilate sit there. Okay. Maybe I try to burn a turn. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna attack because you can get Sucker Punched while you're asleep. So I'm gonna click Life Do just because it doesn't matter what I click. I'm burning a turn of sleep, and I'll Drain Punch King Gambit just to force something. They're swapping King Gambit. Yeah, that's fair. Indeedy. Dozo! Okay. He brought Dozo. Cool. Another Dire Claw into Sinistra, whatever. Good damage with Drain Punch. Yeah, they don't have their defense boosts yet, so that would be good damage. Now I want to go for Macha Gacha in case you swap your Dozo into your Geary. Maybe I want a Rage Powder in case you swap. And just protect my Annihilate. Yeah, that seems fine. Sneasler is swapping. Are they going right into Dozo Geary? Yes, they are. Cool. I'm fine with this. You take out my Sinistra, that is actually preferred. Then I can get my Greninja in, and then I can start stacking Rage Fists, and then... I can get all the way out of control in front of your Don Dozo. Might work pretty well. And they don't have Indeedee. Alright, Annihilate Protect the Sinistra, even wake up. No, not yet. Oh, Heavy Slam. Okay, they attacked Sinistra anyway. That is fine. Let's go Haze.
Now Haze will also get rid of my attack and defense boost, but I can just get another one real quick. Not that it matters much against Dondozo, it's just there's no point in really hitting it until I get my Rage Fist stacked. Uh, Haze. Where am I right now? I'm at plus one, plus one. Yeah. Alright, Haze. Get rid of my boosts. The question is if I want to Terra Water. They have Sneasler and King Gambit in back. I'm better against Sneasler this way. Bulk up. Goodbye, stat changes. Hello, stat changes. They, and they do ignore it with, a, with their Dondozo, so it's like, not that that's a big deal or anything. And they wave around. That's gonna hurt. Eh, it wasn't so bad, actually. Now I think I side Water Shuriken. Terra Water defensively? Nah. Side Water Shuriken. My Annihilate. And Drain Punch for a little bit of healing? I don't want to just take them out yet. Well, that's doing some decent damage, actually. Oh, that one was a crit. Three. Four. Four hits. Dang, Greninja, you didn't have to do all that. Brain Punch does decent damage into the Don Dozo, that's great. They wave crash into Greninja. I'm gonna swap in Grimmsnarl for the Greninja and protect. They could knock themselves out on the Grimmsnarl. If they knock themselves out on the Grimmsnarl, that's actually their best play. But if they go after, if they don't wave crash the Grim, if they do anything else, I can then take them out and get a free spirit break into the Katsugiri. Yeah, but they do do that. Okay. Good place. Can't be mad at good place. And here's Sneasler. Dire Claw plus like Draco Meteor. I want to get Light Screen. And Rage Fist the Tatsu. Here's a Terra from them. What would the Terra be from them? Stellar Tatsu? Oh! It is Stellar Tatsu. Okay, they're going for blood. If I don't get the light screen, they probably KO me. I do get the light screen. Okay, they, they don't have fake out, it looks like. Or are they doubling ape or are they just gonna click dire claw into Oh they click dire claw into ape? I might not be safe. They get another sleep in this game. That one's okay because of my berry. Oh, and I'm faster than Tatsu. Are they sash then? No. Oh, okay. Perfect. Bye, Tatsu. And we know their last is King Gambit with no tap, which is beautiful. I think Reflect plus Protect, maybe? So then I have Greninja. Yeah, I want to go for Reflect, Protect. It reads out a Protect from their King Gambit if they have it. And if they take out my Grim, then I can combo Icy. If, depending on the speed on their Sneasler, I might get my Annihilate Pass within it. They Dire Claw into Ape. Understandable, you just want hacks. And they have Assurance. Oh, that's why they wanted to do that. Okay.
Well, let's Spirit Break the Sneasler. Drain Punch the King Gambit. No hacks, no hacks, no hacks. Paralysis. Okay, that's a game we play. Into Assurance. Not quite enough. We get the Spirit Break. We get the Drain Punch, we win. Oh no! After parting shot, Sneasler and protect. Oh no, why is this happening? You got sleep into sleep into paralysis, which is just what you needed into full para? Okay. Game's not over over, but it's not looking great. There's Dire Claw into Greninja, which we eat, and get poison. Oh, poison's not so bad. There's Iron Head. I need to Icy Wind the King Gambit and then be faster than it, which might not be doable. Because I am at... Oh! No, I think Icy Wind would do it. Icy Wind. Don't Sucker Punch me. And then I Drain Punch King Gambit. Sneasler goes for Protect. As long as it's not a Sucker Punch, this might work. This might work. Come on, Greninja, you got this. Come on, Annihilate, you got this too. Yes, Icy Winding a King Gambit is terrifying. No, it's still faster! Oh, how fast is that thing? Okay, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this was fine. What do I do? Water Shuriken, the Sneasler? There's nothing I can do against King Gambit. I guess I water shuriken Sneasler and click Spirit Break into the King Gambit. It's all I can do. One, two. It looks like water shuriken's gonna be enough. Did I play this game wrong? I feel like I played it correctly, but all of this, all of this hacks. It's too much. I'm not sure what I expect Spirit Break to even do here. Like, it's damaged, but it's not gonna... Yeah, that's not even close. I'm just gonna boost them again. Yeah, and Grim Snarl goes down, and the poison takes my Grenadina. Okay, and they were faster than Annihilate, which... At minus one, they must have had some speed investment, unless I'm doing my math wrong. Good game. I guess. Get a trainer card. I'm fighting a 1500? I'm at 1600. I know I just lost twice in a row. That wasn't really my fault. Murkrow, Blaziken, and Nihileap of their own. Mousehold. There's a combo. Primarina, Rillaboom. I haven't seen as many Rillabooms these days. I see a lot of Primarina. Is this the first mouse ape I'm fighting? Alright, so redirection from the mouse. That's interesting. Tailwind is not super interesting. What's my play against Annihilate? Because Annihilate is actually scary. For my team. Pelipper to nuke it? Uh, Pelipper Archaladon to nuke it? Put up Reflect. Uh, maybe I Greninja Archaludon. 
stop them from stop them from redirecting my thing. Bring Pelipper, Sinistra, no screens. Grimmsnarl is kind of bad into Mouse Ape. They also have Murkrow with Haze, potentially. I'm going Greninja Pelipper on lead. This isn't a lead I usually pull out, but I think I need to throw huge damage on the board turn one. I think that's the main way I can win this game, is huge damage turn one. That's a trainer card, I like it. No, if it's just, if it's anything other than Mouse Ape. Mouse Crow? Offensive Mouse. Offensive Mouse. Watch out. It's Offensive Mouse. I brought Arch, right? Good. Oh, thank goodness. It's Terra Ghost, Water Shuriken, that mouse. No. Let's Terra Ghost. Let's Terra Ghost. Taunt Murkrow for next turn. And bring in our Chaladon. If we catch the Pop Bomb on either slot, I'm happy. Because we either dodge it entirely, or we get to plus six with our Chaladon while taunting their Haze user. If their Murkrow does in fact have Haze. Which it should. Uh, if you're going to pair it with a Pop Bomb mouse, you would use Haze to get rid of like Intimidate drops. So it makes sense for Murkrow to have Haze in this game. Even more so than usual. All right, let's hope they're mad that I just did that. Reninja does take some damage from foul play, but shouldn't get o code. So that's like for next turn after I talk. And if they do pop bomb my Greninja, oh, they're going for an attack. Huh? Pop bomb into Arch. Cool. Doing pretty decent damage too. Good thing I brought Sinister with me. Uh, I have to worry about. I don't have to worry about Murkrow Sunny Day next turn, so I can Electro Shot if I want. It would probably like redirect it maybe. Now that I got two Ghosts and an Archalid on it plus six. How many is this? I, I'm not counting. Is that ten? That's 10. Alright, 10 hits. And Murkrow has Snarl? Okay, I guess I'm body pressing everything. Uh, I think here I want to Icy Wind. Maybe I get my special attack back with Electro Shot into Murkrow. What swap ins do they have for that Rillaboom? They also have Annihilate as a swap into something. Maybe Icy Wind isn't the safest. I think it'll be alright. Yeah, they just go for follow me with Mouse Bolt. That's fine. They're gonna Snarl again. I get my Electro Shot back up to neutral, then get Snarled. It's not the worst thing. And then I guess I Body Press stuff. Uh, if they have 8, it's annoying that I'm getting Snarled. But it's fine. I gotta get rid of Murkrow though. So Body Press is going into that next turn anyway. Mousehold is still alive. I think it's hit by Snarl again. So I think a minus. Where am I at? Minus two? Water Shuriken can take Mousehold from here? I hope so. And then I'll Body Press Murkrow. Get that thing out of here. And if its taunt ends before I'm able to take it out, it can haze, which would be annoying. Be enough. One, I think it'll be enough. Two, Greninja, you got this. Three, looks like the next one I did. Four, didn't even need the fifth. All right, we don't even know, need to know if I rolled four or five. And then body press, take out this pro, please. 
get out of my sight. Bonk. Alright. Don't like the special attack drops we got, but it's whatever. They do have Annihilate. Which we just have to, like, not hit. And there's Blaziken. Oh. We got other answers for Annihilate later. Um, unless they're Final Gambit. If they're Final Gambit, well then it's a 3v1. That's fine. Let's taunt the Annihilate and body press play again. I'm much more worried about Annihilate going for bulk up here than Final Gambit. If you want to trade for my Arch, that's... it's whatever. Unless your Blaziken has, like, Thunder Punch, we might be fine. You also have Terra left. Blaziken just attacks. Fine. We get the taunt. That's cool. Uh, they just go for... Unboosted Rage Fist into our Chalma. Thank you. We've been hit so many times now. Just in case of Sash, I think I just Shuriken the Blaziken and Body Press it. Um, Shuriken, Blaziken, it might as well be Electro Shot. It looks like I have like Tech Sunny Day, that's fine. Just in case Shuriken gets a crit and KOs Blaziken, then I actually can hit Annihilate with the Electro Shot. And getting my special attack boosted would be good for eventually against Annihilate. Because the defense boost will save me forever, but they won't help me break it. Could also be Terra Ghost from Blaziken this turn. I don't, I don't expect Water Shuriken to take out Blaziken, even in the rain. Okay, battle's just cancelled. They're like, we're, I'm not breaking the arc. Cool. You probably weren't. You probably could have kept going, though. Go for a crit. Anyway, GG. And we are back. This match, for some reason, had two Dondozos. And, honestly, I bullied the Dondozos. One of them just had a Sneasler with all the luck. And, I mean, that happens sometimes. Sometimes you get Dire Claw Slept, Dire Claw Slept, Dire Claw Paralysis, Full Para. I don't know. And then also that King Gambit being faster at minus one than my Annihilate. You know, sometimes things just aren't going to go your way. But anyways, I hope you had fun. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright. Peace.